Is anyone here actually willing to stand forward and defend the idea that the religion of Islam was not a significant factor in any of this? Let's just play at your little game for a second. Let's just say we weren't controlling the oil coming out of Saudi Arabia and the rest of the Middle East for the last 40 years. Let's just say none of that shit happened, that we weren't interfering in Iran, that we never protected the Shah, that we didn't play all the other fucking games we've been playing in the Middle East for the last 40 years. Let's say none of that ever happened. Are you still saying this would have happened? That Islam, for no fucking reason, would have flew planes into our goddamn buildings? Be honest, you little motherfucker, and tell the goddamn truth. If it wasn't about that politics, this fucking religious war wouldn't fucking exist, and you goddamn know it, you stupid turd. That the last words on the hijacker's lips were not the Islamic battle cry, Alu Hakdar. Oh, right, and how many times have one of our American soldiers put a little Christian cross on one of our bombs? How many times have they done that? How many times has some religious Christian symbol been placed on top of our war effort? How many times have fucking little preachers prayed to the little soldiers before they went into their little battles? All right, you want to keep pretending that the whole uh, military-industrial complex is a Christian organization? So that's going to be your fucking argument? Bogus, 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 bogus. Anyway, I think this is arguably the best way it could play out. I mean, it's hard to claim that you died as a martyr for any cause if you spent the best part of the last decade hiding in caves or imprisoned within your own compound. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, that, that's an irrational statement. I mean, all kinds of people have incurred a price for their rebellion. So, yeah, he paid the rebels price. Big deal. Newsflash. He's not the first and he won't be the fucking last, idiot. It very much reminds me of Saddam Hussein, who was also caught hiding, albeit in a hole in the ground. So will this change the state of play much? Yeah, I think so. It sets the precedent that if you wish to rouse the sleeping giant. Here we go again. The rousing the sleeping giant. Like the size of our industrial complex makes us right. Might makes right. That's all you're fucking saying. You're not defending us. You're not saying we are fighting for something right or righteous or valuable. We're just having the mic. We're just the sleeping big fat fucking giant. We'll come smite you if you do anything that we don't like. We are the Nazis in control, in power. We're better and bigger than the rest of the world. We'll tell them what we're going to do. Good luck with that, asshole. And when it comes to burn your ass, okay, I don't want to see no little whiny complaints. You'd best be ready to deal with the consequences that's likely to entail. <laughs> yeah, touche, fucker. Live by the sword, die by the sword, asshole. You're just asking for a big pile of pain. Bin Laden getting killed by US Special Forces puts that precedent on a 50-foot-tall, highlighted, neon-glowing bat. And while the outcome of the 9-11 attacks doubtless exceeded all of Al-Qaeda's expectations, I have to wonder if in those many years of hiding, in his self-imposed imprisonment, if he had doubts. Oh right, like he had doubts when he was fighting in Afghanistan with our money and our arms against the Russians. The man set himself up for this kind of life. He's put himself at jeopardy more than one time, you asshole. So you're not going to make him into some sort of cowering, wimpy ass bastard like you who just lives on his comfortable life in his comfortable fucking country, exploiting the rest of the fucking world for his lavish little scientific lifestyle. Let's all go fly to Mars while the world starves. Yeah, just keep talking your fucking rag shit. Osama Bin Laden was a crazy motherfucker, but you can't call him a fucking coward, asshole. No fucking sale. He had bigger balls than you could ever dream about having, you fucking goddamn bastard. Institutionally sentencing people to death merely for bad-mouthing their religion. Right, and that's exactly the fundamentalism your asshole fucking sleeping giant has been creating. You're just making people dumber and more hateful, poorer. All, every, every bad constituent of human capacity is all you're fermenting with your fucking sleeping giant shock and awe, shoot him in the head, bullshit, moron. And to threaten to kill, or to actually kill, authors, cartoonists, or playwrights merely for exercising their free speech. Right, and we, we've had jackasses in this country shoot doctors merely for performing a medical service. So all of this little fucktarded whiny complaints about Islam, Islam is not a threat to your fucking freedom. You're a threat to their fucking freedom. That's the fucking reality, you fucking goddamn Nazi.
What's more amazing is that the West was so accommodating for so long, so ready to indulge in this indolent appeasement. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, this indolent appeasement of us fucking with their fucking countries because we wanted to steal their fucking oil. They might as well just have been Native Americans. We gotta shove them onto their fucking reservation so we can get their goddamn juice. And it's all about the fucking goddamn juice and you know it, you fucking goddamn weasel. Fuck you. Stay the fuck out of their business and I'll guarantee you, I'll give you a little contract and I'll sign it. I'll guarantee you on your right to fry me in a goddamn pan that these people won't bother you if you stay the fuck out of their anuses.